Okay, welcome back to another beautiful day in the uh, Tuscan countryside. Today we're going to have a walk around Pontremoli, the local town. Today is Fair Agosto, which is the 15th of August, which is a national holiday here and quite a big one. So everyone is out and about, you'll see it quite busy. So what I'll do is I'll probably film most of it and then uh, talk over it when I'm back at the house because I don't think you'll be able to hear me properly with so many people chatting away in the background. So we're going to go over this bridge up here, which is where the name comes from. Pont Trembly, as in Pont Bridge, Trembly, Trembly, Trembling. Uh, so it's the, it's the wobbly bridge. There's a castle up, uh, let me see if I can get my finger in the right place, up there. Uh, but we'll be walking through the old town, walking along the river, all the way up, you see the, the beautiful houses. So, uh, so in we go and I'll just keep filming little bits and bobs and then explain later on. Wednesdays and Saturdays are market days, so there's uh, a general market. It's not a food market, it's a traditional market. You'll see everyone's still wearing masks here and the restrictions are in place. But it's, you know, it's a, a very traditional local market. So this is the bridge over the Magra that'll take us into the old town. Um, it's not actually this bridge that was the uh, the trembling bridge. It was a, a previous wooden bridge. This is the other bridge that also goes into the old town. That was closed recently because it's in danger of falling down and in a village close by another bridge did fall down. So they're, they're looking at that at the moment. So into the old town we go. The water on the Magro runs off the, uh, the Apennines, it's cold and clean um, and this is the same river that you saw us bathing in up near Grinardi. So it's a very old town full of little uh, tiny alleyways. Uh, it's about 250 metres above sea level, it has a population of about 7,000 people. Um, the first time Pontremoli was mentioned in the history books was uh, about 990 AD um, in the Archbishop of Canterbury's uh, writings about moving from, well, traveling from England to Rome. It was the 31st halt. And then uh, it passed between various warring families until about 1650 when it entered and uh, became part of the Grand Duchy of Tuscany. The French dominated it at the end of the 18th century, uh, but in 1815 it returned to the Grand Duchy, um, in 1847 to the Duchy of Parma, um, and then stayed there until the Italian unification. So this is the Cathedral um, of Santa Maria Assunta. The church was built uh, in 1787 um, following a, a vow made in 1630 to the Virgin Mary uh, for saving the village from the plague. It's very pretty Rococo style. Very pretty Rococo architecture. We're back on the main market square, so this is where the food market is. There are the administrative buildings around this square uh, and the cathedral off to, to one corner of it. Now if you look carefully, you'll see we've got Parma ham, we've got Parmesan, so all of the local, uh, the local produce being sold directly. Um, 14 euros 50 for a kilo of uh, parmesan is excellent. There are a lot of uh, hidden courtyards. This one is where the uh, main administrative building is, where I go and pay my local taxes. Um, it's a you know, 
medieval village, town, town. So there are lots of archways, walkways, um, it's very pretty. Some of it's in need of, of cosmetic restoration, but basically uh, most of it's in, in pretty good condition. Here's another little courtyard. Always full of surprises, beautiful doors. Here again, another courtyard, this one with columns, slightly similar to ours, but quite a lot older. There are a, a number of these stone basins around. You can pick them up, they're still made today. But uh, this is very, very typical local architecture. So this is the Magna Vaca and Dossi mansion. Um, it's built in the first half of the 18th century. Uh, it's a, one of the most famous buildings in Pontremoli. It's a beautiful open courtyard. So we're on yet another bridge, a nice little view of the, the parks, some people having a picnic down below. So again, very, very old bridges. You can see across further down, down the river, you see the houses, they're all very well inhabited. Here's our, our picnic is right on the river underneath a tree, which is a perfect place. And it's so quiet and, and very clean as well. More bridges. There is um, a sort of island in the middle, so the, the river splits and we're here on the second part of the bridge. So you go from the, the old town, which is sort of in the middle on the island, to a newer part of town. And then to what we just saw in the background there, which is the Teatro de la Rosa, which is the, the local theatre, uh, which was recently restored and is now open to the public again. It's all a bit lost in time. Not much has changed recently. There are unfortunately quite a few empty shops. Some of that to do with the, uh, the recent virus. I know that some shops were, were then forced to close. But basically, very little has changed here, in, either in the way of life, nor the architecture, nor, uh, nor anything else in the last few hundred years. It's, it's, you know, like a little time capsule and very, very pretty for it. This is the Church of Our Lady, which tells the story of the uh, of the town on its front doors in uh, in bronze.
So this railway track is still in use. Um, it's the railway track that links up to the tunnel that goes underneath, uh, underneath our house all the way through up to Palmer. Very old looking trains, not, uh, not very modern. And here we are at the edge of town. So we've come out through another one of the gatehouses, which is there. And we're about to go into this tunnel, which was newly built, which is the entrance to the museum and the way up to the, uh, the way up to the castle. There is a lift inside, which we'll see in a second. So this is the passage that goes up to uh, the museum of the Stele statues and Pianaro Castle. Um, we won't be going into the museum, but what we will do is we'll we'll head up. Uh, and I'll show you the view from up there and, uh, and what the castle looks like. It's, um, it's a castle that was built in the 16th century, or restored in the 16th century. It was initially built at the beginning of the Middle Ages, um, but transformed over centuries. So what you see now is the ancient barracks, uh, which was used as a, as a bastion in the 16th century from where you can really get a wonderful view of the village. Um, in 1975, they opened the, the museum inside the castle, which is one of the most important museums in the region. These um, stele statues, uh, mysterious um, stone sculptures, which no one really knows a, a great deal about, from the, um, around the first thousand years before Christ, uh, cut into sandstone. In um, in various villages of the of the Magra Valley, which is which is where our house is. And as always, so very, very quiet and peaceful. There are no airplanes, no motorways, nothing to disturb the, the perfect summer tranquility except the song of a, a few birds. So I recommend looking up uh, Pontremoli on Wikipedia or watching other videos about it if you want to get more of the history. This is, uh, it's more of a tourist walk around, a little bit of interesting information as basically most of our channel is, is really the restoration of the house. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that uh, little partial visit of Pontremoli, which is a beautiful town here in Lunigiano in the north of Tuscany. Um, that's going to be about it for today. We're going to go and jump in the river now. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Like and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.